Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is continue the video history is reading. I'm just going to continue to read. When Moses reported this to all the Israelites, they mourned bitterly. Early the next morning, they went up toward the high hill country. We have sinned. They said, we will go up to the place the Lord promised. But Moses said, why are you disobeying the Lord's command? This will not succeed. Do not go up, because the Lord is not with you. You will be defeated by your enemies. For the Amalekites and the Canaanites will face you there, because you have turned away from the Lord. He will not be with you, and you will fall by the sword. Nevertheless, in their presumption, they went up toward the high hill country, though neither Moses nor the ark of the Lord covenant moved from the camp. Then the Amalekites and Canaanites who lived in that hill country came down and attacked them and beat them down all the way to the Hormon. Supplementary Offerings Chapter 15 The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, After you enter the land I am giving you as a home, and you present to the Lord offerings, made by fire from the herd or the flocks, as an aroma pleasing to the God. Whether burnt offering or sacrifices for special vows or free will offerings or festival offerings, then the one who brings his offering shall present to the Lord a green offering of a tenth of an apple, of a far flour mixed with a quarter of a bean of oil, with each lamb of the burnt offering or the sacrifice, prepare a quarter of a hin of wine as a drinking offering. When a ram prepare a green offering of two tenths of an apple, of fine flour mixed with a third of a hin of oil, and a third of a hin of wine as a drink offering, offer it as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. When you prepare a young bull as a burnt offering or sacrifice for a special vow or fellowship offering to the Lord, bring with the bull a green offering of three tenths of an apple, a fine flour mixed with half a hin of oil. Also bring half a hin of wine as a drink offering. It will be an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Each bull or ram, each lamb or young goat, is to be prepared in this manner. Do this for each one, for as many as you prepare. Everyone who is native born must do these things in this way when he brings an offering made by fire as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. For the generations to come, whenever an alien or Anyone else living among you presents an offering made by fire, and an aroma pleasing to the Lord. He must do exactly as you do. The community is to have the same rules for you and for the alien living among you. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. You and the alien shall be the same before the Lord. The same laws uh, and regulations will apply with both to you and to the alien living among you. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you enter the land to which I am taking you, and you eat the food of the land, present a portion as an offering to the Lord. Present a cake from the first of your ground meal and present it as an offering from the threshing floor throughout the generations to come. You are to give the offering to the Lord from the first of your ground meal. Offerings for unintentional sins. Now if you unintentionally fail to keep any of these commands, the Lord give Moses any of the Lord commands to you through him from the day the Lord gave them the, and continue through the generations to come. And if this is done unintentionally without a community 
being aware of it, then the whole community is to offer a young bull for a burnt offering as an aroma pleasing to the Lord, along with its prescribed grain offering and drink offering and a male goat for a sin offering. The priest is to make atonement for the whole Israelite community, and they will be forgiven. For it was not intentional, and they have brought to the Lord for their wrong an offering made by fire and a sin offering. The whole Israelite community and the aliens living among them will be forgiven because all the people were involved in the unintentional wrong. But if just one person sins unintentionally, he must bring a year old female goat for a sin offering. The priest is to make an atonement before the Lord for the one who erred by sin, sinning unintentionally and when atonement has been made for him, he will be forgiving. One and the same law applies to everyone who sins unintentionally, whether he is a native-born Israelite or an alien. But anyone who sins defiantly, whether native-born or alien, blasphemes the Lord, and that person must be cut off from his people, because he has despised the Lord's word and broken his commands. That person must surely be cut off. His guilt remains on him. The Sabbath breaker put to death. While the Israelites were in the desert, a man who found gathering wood on the Sabbath day, those who found him gathering wood, brought him to Moses and Aaron and the whole assembly, and they kept him in custody because it was not clear what should be done to him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must die. The whole assembly must stone him outside the camp. So the assembly took him outside the camp and stoned him to death, as the Lord commanded Moses. Tassels on Garments The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, Throughout the generations to come, you are to make tassels on the corners of your garments. With a blue cord on each tassel, you will have these tassels to look at, and so you will remember all the commands of the Lord, that you may obey them and not prostitute yourself by going up to the last of your own hearts and eyes. Then you will remember to obey all my commands and will be consecrated to your God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. To be your God, I am the Lord your God. Kara, Dathan, and Abram Chapter 16 Kara, son of Izar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the certain Rubenites, Dathan and Abiram, son of Elab, and An Om, son of Peleth, became insolent and rose up against Moses. I'm going to stop here today and continue next time. Thank you for watching.